Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway. Today I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. It's a shunting puzzle. Over the years, I've had tons of comments asking me to try the Ingle Nook Challenge. Well, what is the Ingle Nook Challenge? On the surface, it seems quite simple. It's based on a very, very simple layout, which consists of four pieces of straight track connected together by two sets of points. But the length of each piece of track is very important to the challenge. So there is a main line, which is divided in two by a set of points. On one side, the track must be long enough to fit five wagons. On the other side, there must be enough space for three wagons plus your shunting locomotive. And then the two sidings are the same length, they each need to fit three wagons. So far, so good, right? Then we have the wagons themselves. There are eight wagons and they start off in this formation, five on the main line, three in one of the sidings. To make this challenge simpler today, I'm going to assign a number to each of these wagons, one to eight. And then at random, I will draw five numbers and those numbers are going to tell me which wagons need to get coupled together and in which order. And the solution of the puzzle is literally just to get those five wagons coupled together in the right order on the main line. Now that seems beautifully simple, doesn't it? Famous last words. But there is one major problem and that is that I am terrible at puzzles. Coupled with the fact that this is going to be filmed and I'm going to be under pressure to get it right, I think there's a very, very good chance I might be calling this video the Ingle Nook Challenge Fail. But I won't know until I've given this a try. So let's try it right now. Fingers crossed for me that I actually can do this. Let's draw some numbers and set the challenge up ready to start. You've seen it already, but this right here is my Ingle Nook setup. I found a good website, wyman.info, that has all the sort of instructions and the rules on it. So I will include a link to that in the description if you want to try this yourself. Everything is set up, ready to go. I think this set of points should really have been a right hand set of points, if that's right. I've only got left ones to hand though, but I don't think it should matter. We have the eight wagons, five here, three here, and they are numbered, I'm gonna number them, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to draw the numbers out of this mug. There are eight numbers in this mug. So let's say I draw number three to start with. It's gonna be crazy if that comes true. I will put number one into number three. Then whatever number comes second, we'll get number two put into it. And then these numbers will indicate what order the wagons need to be shunted into. I'm really nervous about this. I, I don't know why, it's ridiculous, but I can just see this going wrong. Okay, <laughs> let's start drawing some numbers then. Let's find out what the first wagon is. So I am not looking. I've got the first number here. Are you ready? So the first wagon, incredibly, is number one. Great. So number one will go into the first wagon. There we go. That's pretty awesome. So that's an easy start. If we get one, two, three, four, five in order, that's going to be amazing. Right, number the second. You ready? Right, what have we got next? Number eight is next. Okay, well, that's a little bit more difficult, isn't it? So we'll put number two into wagon number eight. There we go. That's, that's a bit of a spanner in the works, isn't it? Okay, number number three. Number number three. All right, we've got two here, but the next one was two. All right, so we'll take number three and put that into wagon the second. Oh man, this is definitely turning into a challenge, isn't it? I thought I was getting off lightly with the first number. Right, number four is number three. Ooh, okay, so that's not too bad. That means I've got two of my wagons together straight away. <laughs> That's awesome. That's not too bad at all. Okay, we need one more number then. Which is it going to be? Right. It's number... Oh, I thought it was going to be number nine for a second. I thought that screwed us over. Right, no, it's number six. All right. Okay, folks, we have the order. So you can now clearly see what has to happen. Yeah, I can see that being a real challenge. Right, so I've got to think about what my first move is going to be. I've got the Peckett, hello Peckett, that's the local I'm going to be using. I'll think about my first move and then I'll get started. All right, folks, I feel like I'm under insane pressure for some reason. It's like a game of chess, oh, I'm rubbish at chess. So I think I've got my first move. 
I'm going to try and get wagon 2 coupled up to wagon 1 into the position that wagon 3 is in right now, if that makes sense. So I'm going to couple the end 3 wagons from the main line to the pecket and get them over here onto this siding. So, let's start. Are you ready? The first move. <laughs> it's the beginning of the end. That's the way we shall see it. Right. Let's go couple up to the train then. I'm going to uncouple the first three wagons, and for that I've got a handy glue spreader. Well, how handy it is will remain to be seen, but we shall try. Yeah, seems pretty handy. So there we go. And let's open the points. Yep, that's all good. And let's send the packet into reverse and into the second siding. Okay, that's in. And now I think I can uncouple the packet. Okay, do this gently. Lift up the coupling hooks and push the packet forwards. Right, we're uncoupled. So now I'm going to do something which I hope is quite clever. <laughs> I don't know if it will be, but I'm going to couple the packet up to wagon two so that the packet and wagon two are connected. Then I'll go and pick up wagon three and put wagon three where wagon two used to be. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's try it. So forward with the packet. Do you know what? I think I'm really going to enjoy this. This is going to be awesome. I think I might have already made a fatal mistake because I haven't really planned ahead. I've just thought about what my first move is to be. So tactics, I don't know what ideal tactics for this challenge are. Come on, packet. Shouldn't have used an 040 for this, should I? <laughs> At least not on insole frog points. Should have used electro frog ones. It's all too late now though. Right, let's uncouple wagon the second then. Is that enough? Can I just rest it there? I doubt it. No, I can't. Okay, hang on. Okay, take it away, Peckett. Thank you. Okay, and then Peckett couples to wagon three. So reverse. Okay, steady coupling, very nice. Let's uncouple wagon three from wagon one then. Just make sure the tension's right. Okay, I like my bodge uncoupling tool. I think that's pretty awesome. Right. Ah, oh, this is gonna work really well. Okay. So we'll just temporarily leave wagon three coupled to the first siding again. So open up this point, reverse. And we'll be back for wagon three in just one second. Can just leave it there, no need to couple to the rest of the train. Right. See you in a minute, Wagon 3. And this is a momentous occasion because without messing around too much, we have Wagon 1 and 2 now coupled together properly. And we've got Wagon 3 literally set up, ready to go uh, within a few more moves. So let's uncouple the packet. This already, I can tell, is something that I'm going to love to do. Imagine what you could do with this challenge. I could do it live. I could get you guys to submit the next instruction and such. This is a whole new world. Right, let's go and grab Wagon 3. Wagon 3. Uh, reverse. Got it. Okay. Wagon three goes to couple. Nice. Okay. Wagon three is coupled. Awesome. Right. Remove the tension. Uncouple. Let's go for wagon four now. What needs to be done next? All right, folks. Well, I think I can see the finish. I guess I should do a recap on where we are. So we've got one, two, three, all in order. Four is up here and five is right here. So obviously the next move is just gonna to be to couple up to the three train here and just couple wagon four to wagon three. Very easy. Okay, swap that point, swap that point. Let's reverse and let's go. Okay, couple. Take those out of there. Very good, using the full three wagon berth of the end siding there. Okay, close that point. Reverse, and this will be number four coupled. Steadily does it. 
I'm impressed with how these wagons and the uh, the points and everything have performed. Not had a single issue, it's been marvellous. Right, uncouple wagon four. Let's take the surplus wagons out of the way. And we are finished with those wagons now, so I can just dump those in the other siding. Sorry wagons, your usefulness has run its course. A bit more slack please, there we are. And uncouple, off we go. Okay, I think the end might be in sight. We have Wagon 5 all ready to go. Here we go, let's go couple to it. Wagon 5 is on the end there, as you can see. All right, got that forwards. And this shall be the final move. Okay, shut the point. Like, well, is something gonna happen when these wagons touch each other in the right order? feel like if this was a video game or something, like confetti would come out of nowhere. Uh, alas, nothing happened. I guess I could do something in post. Hmm, not a good idea. Yeah, it's all a bit lacklustre, isn't it? Okay, well, just because I am quite a neat and tidy person, we will clear up the surplus wagons so that they are not in the way when this train is uh, sort of required. So let's just uncouple the final surplus wagon, take that away, go and couple it to the others. So open that, open that, and reverse the pecket. All right, there we go. Uncouple the pecket then, and we can couple it up again to the fully assembled train. Wow, that was epic. I really enjoyed that. There we go, let's go and take the pecket to the full train. There we are, you've got it. Wow, I tell you what, that was absolutely epic. I really enjoyed that. I guess you could do a lot more with that. I mean, if you wanted to go on for longer, you could, I guess you could try and reverse the numbers so we'd get one up at this end and get them in order the opposite way around. That would be a right bugger, wouldn't it? <laughs> After all that. But I think I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Wow, that was one of the best things that I've ever had suggested to me. I really, really enjoyed that, and I can definitely see myself enjoying it if I do it a little bit more. It was quite a good challenge. I think when I'd first drawn the numbers and I was trying to think about what my first move would be, my brain was hurting a little bit. But then after that, it was quite easy. I do get the feeling, though, that the Inglenook gods were quite kind to me when I was drawing the numbers out of the mug. I have a real sneaking suspicion that if I did this again and got a different, more tricky combination, that it would be more of a head scratcher. So did you guys enjoy that? Would you like to see me do this again? Please say yes, because if you do, I will definitely do this again. It is a remarkably simple challenge. It's definitely not as simple as it looks, although it's not quite as devilishly difficult as I thought it was going to be. Although again, maybe if I try this another day and it's harder, I might live to eat my words on that. However, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Very easy to set up, doesn't take a lot of space. So try this at home. Let me know how you get on. Did I just get lucky this time? Possibly, we'll have to try again to see. For now though, from the Peckett and Wagons 1 all the way through to 5, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it today and I will see you very soon for another video. All right, cheers folks, take care.